Hi everyone, uh, it's day eight of Autism Awareness Month. Um, if you notice, my buddy's not here with me. Uh, that's because I didn't want him to hear uh, the things that I'm gonna talk about tonight. Um, but I, uh, I appreciate very much, and so does he, the overwhelming feedback that we've gotten from you. Um, it's great to know that we can both entertain and educate you about this disorder. Um, but I, I felt like I had a responsibility to kind of address um, some of the members of the autism community, uh, the parents, the moms and dads who are struggling right now, um, because it is, uh, it is very difficult. And I don't want to misrepresent the journey um, by just showing you uh, everything that's uh, positive. Uh, it can be really difficult uh, for our kids uh, on days where the routine has changed and now everything's changed. So it's very difficult. We also feel um, as parents a certain uh, responsibility to do as much as we can. Everything that you read and hear says give them as much therapy as you can. Give them as much uh, ABA therapy as you can, as much repetition as you can. And therapies are being compromised. Um, either they're done online, which is not the same. I mean, it's great that therapists are doing that, but it's not the same. Um, and they know that, they're aware of that. Uh, one of the challenges in uh, talking to my uh, Ryan's therapist today, Marcy Fontaine from Princeton Speech, Language and Learning Center in Princeton, we've been going there for six years. They've been amazing. Um, but she pointed out uh, this, the idea that um, a lot of times parents feel the pressure to constantly uh, keep working uh, on the different things that uh, help uh, our children with autism adjust. But it's exhausting, especially when you're wearing both hats. And a lot of us are wearing both hats now, both the parent hat and also the therapist hat or the teacher hat, depending on if it's spring break, if it's not spring break. It's important to take those hats off. It's important to switch. And when you're the parent, you're the parent you're not the therapist. It's important for your state of mind. It's also important for their state of mind to know that they don't have to be uh, unlearning activities or don't have to be, uh, I should say, unlearning uh, behaviors uh, like stims and things like that. Uh, in, this, in this big, uh, crazy, difficult situation that we're in right now, um, it's all we can do is take care of ourselves emotionally and mentally and take the pressure off. Um, also, the the thing that some parents are struggling with right now is the social element. Um, I saw uh, my friend Meg posted something uh, about the fact that uh, her child is uh, 13, 14 years old and has never been invited to a birthday party and um, other than family and um, has never been invited to a play date. And that's something that's very common with uh, kids on the autism spectrum. Um, I, uh, Ryan has not been uh, invited to any of those that weren't family or play dates. Um, Ryan's friends, Ryan's social world is school and he's missing that right now. And why do I know that? Well, because he's commented on it. When um, my other son, my non-autistic son, who's 14, is playing uh, Xbox Live with his friends, uh, Ryan will notice and say, oh, he's playing with his friends. He has a lot more friends than I do. And so he is feeling this sense of loneliness. I wish I had the answer for that one. Um, we're still working on it. It's um, all we can do is rely on family. We've done some Zoom uh, sessions. Uh, he loves his cousins. His cousins are really his best friends. Um, and we just, for right now, that's uh, any ideas would be appreciated. But I think a lot of us are feeling this. A lot of us are feeling that the social element is being compromised uh, for many, these many weeks and months. I also want to point out that when they're back at school, one of the phenomenons that happens, I actually was talking to a former student of mine about this, is that when kids, particularly if your child is boy uh, and there's a girl or vice versa, the opposite sex, if you're nice and if you're kind to uh, someone who's autistic, uh, they tend to not know when to stop. Uh, they tend to spend a lot of time with them, uh, almost become uncomfortable. Uh, this young lady volunteered with me the information that she would avoid him in high school because she was uncomfortable. 
And she was a, a wonderful girl. She was showing her, her kindness and, and being great with him. But because there were so few people that were that way, it caused uh, the individuals with autism, it caused this young man to look for her constantly because so many other people were treating uh, the young man like he was invisible. Um, and it's, it's my hope that, and I think a lot of parents hope, that if we do become more aware that more people will engage our children and that that won't happen. The pressure won't be on the few that are actively engaging them. Uh, I, I, one of the worst phone calls I ever had was uh, from a school where uh, a young lady was, when Ryan first came to high school, a young lady who didn't feel comfortable sitting next to Ryan in class. And it was because he stared at her and smiled. And it made me really sad for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I felt terrible that the young lady made was made to feel uncomfortable. Um, but by the same token, I know Ryan was looking at her and smiling because he didn't know what else to do. And he clearly thought she was pretty. Um, so it's, it's a complicated situation. Uh, this isn't a video that I feel really uh, that I'm giving you a lot of information that's uh, solvable. I like to think that what we're giving you is is solutions to problems and understanding. This one is is kind of addressing, throwing out some questions and some problems that as parents of individuals with autism, it's something that weighs on our minds heavily and we need the rest of the community to be aware of it and do their best. Um, so uh, I did it, I made it through it without getting upset. Uh, I, uh, as you can see, Ryan is very happy. Uh, he mowed the lawn today. He, that's what he wanted to tell you. He'll tell you tomorrow. Um, he's very happy at home, um, as is uh, probably as are several uh, autistic individuals whose parents are tuning in. And that's all we can ask for. We can't make it perfect for them. But what we can do is make sure that they're happy at night and that they're loved. And they may need a day where they're on the iPad all day. They may need a day where they play video games all day. And you may need that day too. You may need that day where you get that break. And it doesn't mean you're not doing your job. You are doing your job because you can't devote everything to being the autistic super parent 24 seven. Um, stay safe. Uh, it's, it's a rough week ahead, I know for all of us um, in Mercer County, our, our parks are closed. Uh, in Hamilton Township, our parks were closed as of eight o'clock tonight. Uh, so stay home, stay safe, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.